Hi everyone. Uh, I've uh, been watching a lot of uh, tutorials yesterday. One of them was uh, about making buttons. I think it also was by Betsy Doodle. And I will uh, leave a link uh, below in the description box. Uh, I've done them yesterday, but I want to show you the process. It's really nice to have uh, this kind of thing. Uh, basically, I've uh, taken pages from a book. Uh, for me, it, uh, I took five pages. Uh, that's what worked for me because I wanted to punch uh, circles out of it when it's uh, dry. Uh, basically afterwards uh, I will add the layer so it will be thicker. Uh, I've tried this with, to glue the pages with the white glue but it got all uh, wrinkled and I didn't like it. So I've tried it with uh, a stick glue and it's great. It worked great. And just be uh, sure to cover your whole page and when you punch or uh, cut afterwards just uh, stay away from the edges because no, no matter what it, it seems like it never uh, the glue doesn't reach uh, the edges so basically I've just um, glued five pages from a book and then I've punched them with with this punch of circles uh, I will show you I've got here lots of uh, circles already and these are leftovers from yesterday that I didn't quite like I'm putting them aside so I've got here here's a uh, this is our five pages and basically what I'm doing is taking the punch up and here we go so it's very easy just <laughs> easy <laughs> as I said okay so these are uh, I've all also tried with a flower punch uh, we'll see what comes out of it and on, uh, on this I've I've done I've traced other sizes because I want uh, some bigger ones uh, to try so on these ones I'm going to cut with scissors okay uh, when you're doing this be sure uh, that uh, the pages you glued together are dry uh, it's really hard to work with the uh, the punch if the pages are not dry inside so let it be and let it dry completely so it won't get stuck in your punch so I will leave this for now I'm moving this aside so uh, basic I've done uh, several uh, ways uh, I've decorated my buttons uh, first one I'll show you I took uh, a little bit of uh, gold uh, paint just smeared it And then went for uh, I think it's bronze, and added uh, this here so it won't be all the same color. Here it is. Now I am waiting for it uh, to dry, and then I'm going to stamp it. Uh, so this is one, uh, let's move on because I want to show you all the, uh, all the nice ways that you can decorate your uh, buttons. Uh, and 
another uh, way I, I made I took this guy this uh, stamp okay let it dry before you are doing anything to it or the ink will uh, spread uh, another one I need a lot of lines then okay there's some kind of insect in the background that's driving me nuts buzzing around and I can't do anything about it. Okay, so we've got this. I'm moving it aside. I'll let it. I'll use my heat tool to fasten this. So we won't have to wait. Okay, now felt pens, basic felt pens you have, if you don't have your kids probably have, and just going around, I'm leaving the butterfly as is. And just going for the background. Very, very easy. Nothing to it. This is one. Let's go for this one. Okay. these are the examples for now I'll dry this also so we'll move on Okay, here are the examples, so now I'm taking, you can uh, take a cor corrugated uh, uh, paper or any thick paper, let's see, here we go, I'm gonna punch it. I want it to be a uh, thicker here I'm using a uh, silicone glue because the for this it won't hold the glue stick place it and let it dry Ok, 
Okay, this one. No punch for this one. So I need to trace it. Okay, next, when it's dry, I took a black acrylic paint and went over the edges so it would look nice. I've done it with a cosmetic sponge. Especially if you are uh, doing uh, it with corrugated uh, paper, then you want it. Uh, you don't want it to show on the sides. Okay. That's what happens when you are not waiting for the glue to dry. also tried it with an uh, ink pad but I don't know it didn't work well so for me uh, it worked well uh, like this but you can try uh, other methods whatever works for you Okay, I didn't work so <laughs> neat this time, and you can also paint uh, the, uh, the back in black, and basically what I've done uh, now is I've taken a foam board, placed it on the, the bottom, and took, I don't know what to call it, it's... <laughs> Poki tool. Uh, if you don't have it, just take a nail and punch uh, holes 
I'm just uh, eyeballing it. Here we go. Again with the glue. Don't have any patience. So here we go, the only thing I, that I've done more is I've taken a clear nail polish to put some uh, seal on it and so it will look nice. I don't have any other thing that uh, is, I don't have glossy varnish, so that's what I'm using. But if you have a glossy varnish, use it. It would probably look better than this. Okay, so basically this is it, I hope you can see, uh, you can see it, I'm gonna show you uh, the buttons I've done yesterday, I have already packed them because I'm planning of sending the, this in a happy mail. As you can see, you can uh, put any kind of uh, stamp to make it interesting. So here it is, my handmade buttons. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked my uh, tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll be back with uh, more. Bye.